Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been a while since my last video. So I figured today we would go over five apps that you may not know about and that are definitely worth trying. Let's go. All right, since we are on GNOME or GNOME, let's open up the software store. We'll go to search and we'll do nuclear. There it is. We'll do flat hub, install. And if you are on KDE or some other um, different desktop environment, you can go to Nuclear's website, nuclearplayer.com, and you have the ability to install via app image, or you can do um, flat packs from their website as well. So while that's finishing, um, Nuclear is awesome. It's a music player that's not filled with ads, tracking, or profiling. Um, you can link it to YouTube, SoundCloud, Bandcamp. It's got social integrations, last.fn, FM, Mastodon. Really cool. It even lets you download music if you like. Here we are. So from here, you can do your typical uh, search for any artist you want. Um, but yeah, play around with it. It's really cool. And again, you, you know, you can download music as well, but really nice free alternative um, you know, don't have to worry about ads or any telemetry. So yeah, hope you like it. Number two, blanket. So if you're stressed, depressed, maybe you're coding and you want some relaxing music in the background, or maybe you just want to sleep. Blanket is what you need. So you can go ahead and go through the app store or the alternative. If you open up your terminal, we are going to install it through Peru. So we'll do Peru dash S blanket, hit enter, password, yes, and done. And we'll go over here. There she is. So this is pretty cool. You can include a bunch of different noises in one. You can do the city, you can adjust the volume. And let's say you want to hear some trains and maybe some birds. Really cool. Give it a shot. Um, definitely relaxing and something you can just have in the background to keep calm and, you know, do some studying. Number three, Proton Up QT. So if you play games on Steam, Lutris, or any of the other multitude of apps, um, you're going to want a GUI application for that. You don't need to, but it's just more helpful. So again, if you're on GNOME, you can open up the store, you can install it from there. Or if you prefer, you can open up the command line and do Peru-S Proton Up-QT and install. But let's go ahead and install this one through the store. All right, now that that is ready, let's open it up. So this is just a better alternative instead of going to a website, downloading the Proton version you want as a, as a file, then you have to extract it, and then you have to place it in the right directory. So this is just a nice GUI interface that you can go ahead and search for whatever versions you like. All right, so I just went ahead and let's just assume we're on Steam. We'll just save that to the desktop. We'll go to add version, and from here you can go anyone you like. Um, older versions, newer versions, the latest, you can go to get info. It'll bring you to the website, tell you specifics. Um, just so you know, some games work better on older versions and some on the latest. So give it a shot. It's uh, very useful and it's way better than manually doing it. All right, let's talk about antivirus and malware for Linux. So a lot of people assume that, oh, it's Linux. I don't need any security software. Well, uh, that that's false. Um, the, the reason people say that is because Windows just so happens to have the, the major uh, foothold. Um, the, the percentage of operating systems on the planet just happen to run Windows. So, of course, the malicious actors are going to write programs for Windows. But don't be fooled, they are writing them for Linux as well. And just a nice, free, graphical user interface to Clam AV is Clam TK. So go ahead and um, open that up. 
First thing you're going to want to do is just go to update. Make sure you have the latest signatures for today's date. If you don't, click check for updates. And then just make sure to do a full scan when you're done. I would recommend um, doing this once a week or set this up to have it kind of actively run. I would also mention if you go over to settings, just make sure you do scan for POAs, use heuristic scannings. Um, you know, this is entirely up to the person, the individual using this, but this is what I would do. And then if you have any applications that, you know, are suspicious, but you know are safe, go ahead, go into a whitelist, make sure you add those. There are false positives um, that come with any antivirus, anti-malware applications. So just make sure you whitelist the ones that you know are secure. And I hope this helps everyone stay more safe. And number five, our final app is the Zen browser. I have been seeing this all over the internet. Um, it's essentially a Firefox based browser with a skin over the top, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and install that. So we'll do sudo pacman dash s zen dash browser dash bin your password yes simple and easy now go over here should pop up there we are so their whole thing is welcome to a calmer internet um it, it's cool i still prefer brave but i do want to spend some more time getting used to zen um i, I like how they have um this option here you can kind of smash everything down to a collapsed toolbar. Um, this is more of your standard uh, web browser experience. You got your links on top, but the this one is quite cool. It kind of just compresses everything down. Um, I do like that. And of course, you know, you have uh, colors. You can just change things how you like, um, you know, standard stuff. You do, of course, have you know, your Firefox themes, extensions, you can go ahead, play around with those. Um, again, I haven't played around with the Zen browser as much, but I am going to give it a shot. Um, if you'd like to know more about it, let me know. But today I still do prefer uh, Brave over most others, but Zen has caught my attention and I look forward to testing more of it out. Thanks everybody again for hopping on. I appreciate all of you. And again, please leave comments, you know, share, like, subscribe, all that, you know, typical jazz. But I really do want your feedback on future videos. So please, you know, drop in the comments, uh, anything you want to learn about security, hacking, windows, gaming, emulators, anything like that. I do have a background in cybersecurity. I went to school for that. I have a job in that. So if that's something that the community would love to learn more about, please let me know. Thanks again, everybody. I appreciate all of you.